In this problem, we're told what is the period of rotation of the Earth in seconds, B, what is the angular velocity of the Earth, and C, given that the Earth have a, has a radius of 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters at its equator, what is the linear velocity at Earth's surface? So we're going to be solving for a bunch of different things here. So essentially, we have the Earth, and then for C, we're given this. But let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the period of rotation of the Earth in seconds. So first, you need to understand what the period is. So we denote the period by T, and basically what it is, it's for a system to go through one rotation or one cycle. So in this case, it's going to be how long it takes the Earth to rotate around its axis once. So you need to know that the time it takes to go around its axis, this is something you should know, it's going to be 24 hours. So one day is how long it takes it to spin all the way around. So T, or the period, is 24 hours. So that's how long it takes it to go through one cycle or one revolution, but we want it in seconds. So to convert it to seconds, we just need to do this. So 24 hours, we know that for every single one hour, right? One hour is equal to 60 minutes. And then one minute is equal to 60 seconds. And what you'll see here is the hours cancel and the minutes cancel. So basically just going 24 times 60 times 60 will give you in seconds. So go ahead and do that, 24 times 60 times 60. And when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 86400. Zero, zero. And so this is going to be in seconds. So 86,400 seconds, that's going to be how many seconds are in a day, which is just the period. So this is your answer to A. Now let's move on to B. So for B, what we're trying to find is the angular velocity of the Earth. And we did no angular velocity with uh, the Greek letter omega. And so the way to find omega, if you have the period, which we got in the last problem, is using this. So omega is equal to 2 pi over t, the period. So you can use this formula to solve for omega given t. So all we got to do is just plug in uh, this right here, and we'll be able to solve for omega or the angular velocity. So 2 pi over t, which is 6 or 8, 6, 4, 0, 0. So what you want to do is just go ahead and plug this in. So 2 times pi divided by 8, 6, 4, 0, 0. And when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 7 point Two seven times ten to the minus five. So seven point two seven times ten to the minus five. And when you do this, you get it in hertz. So this is in hertz. So seven point two seven times ten to the minus five hertz. That's going to be uh, the angular velocity. So now let's move on to C. So for C, it says given that the Earth has a radius of this right here, six point four times ten to the six meters. What is the linear velocity at the Earth's surface? So in order to solve this, you need to know this formula, which is the velocity is equal to omega times the radius. So you can find the velocity, the linear velocity, if you have uh, the angular velocity and then you multiply it by its radius. So keep in mind, we solved for the angular velocity in the last problem and we are given the radius. So all we gotta do is just plug them in and we'll be able to solve for uh, the linear velocity uh, that they want. So just plug in omega, which is 7.27 times 10 to the minus 5 and then multiply by the radius so 6.6 .6, or sorry 6.4 times 10 to the 6 and so when you go ahead and do this 7.27 times 10 to the minus 5 times 6.4 times 10 to the 6 you're going to get that the velocity is equal to about 465 and then this is measured in meters per second since it's linear so your velocity is going to be 465 meters per second that's going to be your answer to c this was your answer to B, and then this was your answer to A. So these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.